Hello, ma'am. Who are you? Why? Good morning, students. Good morning, students. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, students. It's a social class today. According to the timetable schedule, you can see today it is a social class for us. Okay, children, open your textbooks, open your term books. At page number one eighty two, open your term books at page number one eighty two, children. Open your term book for page number one eighty two, children. Okay, on the on the last week by Thursday, we came to know until the topic we covered the topic till signs and symbols. Am I right, children? We completed the topic till signs and symbols. Yes, ma'am. You can yes, text me, children. Whatever the correct yes. answers to my questions, what I am asking, you can text me through the more option chat. You can use the option chat. You can go to more and you can use the option chat, children. Okay. Uh, let's continue the topic. I hope today Shravani didn't join the class till now. Hitendra, Hitendra is new to class. Usman Basha, Hitendra Bhai, Shiva Joshna, and Redmi. The person who is Redmi, please note your name, children. Please note it down your name there. Fareed, Kasha, Fareed is ready today. Much yes, be quiet, children, and open your book at page number one eighty two. Wrong mark. Wrong mark. Wrong mark. All of you, turn on your cameras. Turn on your cameras. Okay. I hope you can see my screen, children. Signs and symbols. We discussed the topic signs and symbols on that day. And now let's go for colors on the map. Is it visible for you? I'd like to know is it visible for you, children? Yes, ma'am. The page is visible for you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Can you see colors on a map? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, go back. Okay, coming to the signs and symbols. On the day we came to know that 
signs and symbols are also seen on maps those signs are called as conventional signs conventional on the day i remember shravani asked me a doubt that what is the meaning of conventional ma'am conventional is nothing but conveying a thing conveying a thing is nothing but a conventional children which conveys the thing uh, i told you an example you will write uh, addition in the place of addition the entire word you can use a symbol plus in the place of subtraction you can use a symbol minus like that to convey the total matter in a small symbol that symbol or sign is called as conventional sign or a conventional symbol these symbols are duplicate rivers roads railways temples and even schools too so we have top car completed till signs and symbols now coming to the topic of colors on maps maps also uses different colors to depict different land forms and water bodies why we have a colors on a map because to depict to show us what is a land and what is water to show the difference between land and water maps are filled with the few colors children see they have given which color represents which thing here the green color on the map represents plain area on the map wherever you find the green color it seems the area is plain where can you see yellow color yellow color on map represents deserts yellow color on map represents desert similarly the mountains and highlands are represented by mount brown mountain highlands is nothing but hilly areas those all mountains hills plateaus these are represented by brown in color while oceans and other water bodies are represented in shade of blue shade of blue children here why blue color means the water water itself represents blue color not only oceans uh, water bodies such as seas rivers lakes these are all can be will be represented in a blue color here they have given four colors children green yellow brown and blue green represents plain areas yellow represents deserts and brown represents mountains and hills blue represents the water bodies blue represents water bodies i hope you are writing the running notes children who doesn't possess the textbook Harini, are you writing? Very good. Ashwin, Pasuki, Hitendra. Please turn on your videos, children. Don't off your videos. Let me see you on your videos and only mute your phone. Subhash, Subhash is sitting with her sibling. Just make a note, Subhash. Make a note of each and every color, whatever it represents. Green color represents plain area. Yellow represents desert. Brown color represents mountains and highlands. Highlands are nothing but hills, children. Hills are called as highlands. And coming to the part of blue color, it represents water bodies. Water bodies include. oceans rivers seas lakes these are all comes under water bodies for this purposes we use different colors on map to represent different areas so coming to the direction and scale directions are very important to study map yes we have to know the directions to study map because for example children i'm just saying you if we take our country india if we take our country india there will be south states our andhra pradesh is called as a south state because it lies south towards south direction 
so there will be a north direction also harini is trying to do something else with the phone but if it is not available for you to unmute children if you want to share anything with me use the chat option i'll i'll uh, let you know okay and so for that purpose for the re representation of the area <coughs> for sharing of the area we need to know the directions for the location of the we have to know direction someone will ask where is north side where is south side for that purpose we have to know the directions carefully there are four directions north south east and west as you all know right there are four directions as you all know coming to the again these four directions are subdivided into another four directions north is called upside south is called downside east is called right side and west is called left side these are the four direction but north east north east is also a sub direction which lies between north and east similarly there are sub categorized into north east south east south west and north west these four are sub directions we have let's see one animation about it animation for you to understand it clearly see these are the directions children directions are very important to study map they are used to correct locate a place on a map see you can see the upward direction is called north i hope you can see children is it visible for you Is this small icon visible for you, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Very good. By the help of a small direction, you can know the directions very easily and very simply. See, north upside, S for south, it faces downside. E for east, it faces right side. W for west. These are the four main directions, children. coming to again these yellow yellow points are subdivisions of the directions the yellow point which lies between north and east is called as northeast direction between east south and east is called as southeast direction between south and west is called southwest direction and between north and west is called northwest direction okay by the small simple uh, picture you can identify the directions easily see there are four main directions on map they are north south east and west there are also four sub directions on the map these yellow indications north east is located between north and east south east is located between south and east south west is located between south and west and north west is located between north and west you will find a small ruler like symbol in the low right side of a map this is called a scale see children when you ever purchase a map when you ever see a map you can observe scale scale on one corner right side bottom corner you can see this this notation is called a scale a scale is used because it is not possible to show actual distances between a place on a map see children if uh, in the lively we can say it is 1 km or 200 miles 250 miles the distance between some karnool and nandyal is 60 miles like that we can say because we will travel and we can note but with the help of map entire earth is located in map how to calculate the distance with the help of these scale they will find the distance in actual reading from so 0.5 it is the ratio between the distance on the map and the real distance on the ground see children it is the ratio 1 1 one point in the map it seems to 250000 so 1 inch in the scale 1 inch in the scale indicates 
hundred kilometers. One inch in the map scale indicates hundred kilometers of a distance. Okay. So I hope you easily understood about uh, the directions, children. You may easily understood about the directions. I it is not. Is it clear for you, children? Have you about the directions? Coming to the next page, page number 183. Just now in the animation video, we saw and we came to know about the scale. You will find a small ruler like symbol in the low right side of the map. This is called a scale of map. A scale is used because it is not possible to show actual distances between place on a map. It is the ratio between distance on the map and the real distance on the ground. Just now we came to know about the scale also. In the map, you can find it at the bottom right side corner. You'll find a small scale. It is used to locate and calculate the distance. One inch in a map is equal to 100 kilometers. One inch in a map is equal to 100 kilometers. See children, you can have a word power here for small definitions. They have given you a few definitions. This is the recap of the lesson. Once these four points, they asked us to recap it once. Recap it is nothing but the earth is almost round in shape. At the starting of the lesson, we came to learn it. Globe accurately represent continents and water bodies of the earth. In the differences between maps and globes, we learn this point. Globes accurately represent continents and water bodies on the earth. Similarly, maps are a drawings of the whole or a part of earth on a flat surface. Maps are a drawing. It may be depending upon the map children. There are many available maps so that they have given whole or a part. Here they have described because if we need only India map, we'll choose India map. If we need a whole world map, we'll choose whole map. Like that, not only India map, every country has its own map, even states also. If we need only say map of an Andhra state, we can choose only map of an Andhra state. Like that, maps are drawings of a whole or a part of Earth, only on a flat surface. They are not a globe-like surface, they are flat-like surface. Maps use several signs, symbols, and colors to represent landscapes. Just now we told maps use very signs and symbols. Signs and symbols are also known as conventional signs. Conventional signs, the convey, a symbol which conveys the matter is called as conventional signs and it uses the colors also. We came to know about four colors, children. Have you remember those? Green color represents Answer me, text me children, text it fast. Green color represents? Green color represents, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for your answers. Land. Yes, Farid, green color represents land area. Okay, okay, Sai. Green color represents plain area. What is the brown color represents? Brown color represents mountains and islands. Yes, mountains and islands. The children who are unable to mute, you can text me, children. You can text it to me. And uh, the color which uh, represents uh, water bodies. Which color represents water bodies? Blue. Yes, blue. Blue color represents water bodies. And what is the last remaining color? Yellow. I forgot to ask you yellow. Yellow represents the deserts. Okay. Sand. Okay, Sand. Sand, ma'am. Red is not there. Red is not there. Sand. Desert. Okay. Sand. Coming to the evaluation part, children, please be quiet. Everyone, uh, 
pick your pencils and let's do the evaluation part choose the correct answers dash are the extreme north and extreme south of the earth false ma'am see children Boys. yes 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 darling yes for it let's go for the previous see on the second page you can see the extreme north and the extreme south points of the earth are called poles aerolite north and extreme south points are called as poles please note it down children everyone the answer for the first one is poles you can find it here okay let's see what is the second blank dash the great sailor undertook the sea voyage to prove the earth is round who is that sailor who is that sailor let's see in our lesson let's find in our lesson children let's once go through the lesson and find c ferdinand magellan ferdinand magellan is the person who found the earth is round in shape so the answer is c magellan which of the following is a sub direction they are asking sub direction so okay let's revise the lesson once these are the directions actually north south east west are directions and coming for the sub directions are north east south east south west and north west these four are sub directions so which one of the following is a sub direction where north south west are directions and this north west is a sub direction where does the north west located children it is located between north and west the direction located between north and west is called north west coming to the fourth one a water body on a map is represented by the color it is a very simple question children just now we came to know to it the water bodies are represented by blue color blue color children water bodies are represented by blue color our okay, kids successfully completed the evaluation and the part of a and coming to the next page match the following okay today we can see what is the match the following here drawing of the earth what is a drawing of the and let's once see it then we can match it before going to the matching children whenever you do whatever the subject you do first have a look at the question once before keeping the pencil on it first of all have a look at the questions then go through the matching okay portuguese explorer desert small models of the earth small models of the earth forest and the key given for it is green map ferdinand malian glow and yellow okay let's start with the easy option whatever whenever the matching you start start with the easy option it is a um, it is very tricky children don't start with even first one even though you don't know don't start with the first one let's start with the easy one then the remaining one will be the correct hitendra okay so well, i think for me the first the easy one is portugal explorer because we have only one option for it let's go with the second one a portugal explorer portugal explorer who is a portugal explorer children ferdinand maligan is a portugal explorer for the two you can match it for c 
two you can match it for C. Okay. Next coming for dessert. Here yellow. Yellow color represents we know better about colors. So yellow color represents desert. So the desert you can match three for E. You can match three for E. Okay. Next uh, small models of earth. See children, drawing of earth is different from model of earth. Model means it appear exactly like that. But drawing, it's a, it will be drawn on a paper. So by this we came to know drawing of the earth is map. It is not a model law. No? So drawing of the earth is map. One is B. And coming to the fourth one, small models of earth. Models means globe. Yes, no? Just earth look like a globe. So small model, four is D. And forest, finally green color is forest. But at the starting we came to know green color is a plain area. Plain area is nothing but it is filled with trees. Trees look in green in color. So forest is nothing but green. Okay, like that with a simple option we have to start matching. Not only with the first one children, we can start with whatever we feel simple or we know the answer perfectly. With that, we can start. So once again, I'm just repeating the answers for you children. Drawing of earth is map. One is B. Portuguese explorer is Ferdinand Maligan. Two is for C. And um, desert, desert represents yellow color and three is for E and small models of earth. Small models of earth is globe, four represents D and finally the leftover thing is forest. Forest is green in color, so five is for A. Have you completed the matching children? Very good. Pasuki, have you made a note? Did you make a note of it, Nana? Harini, Yashwan, Siva Joshna, Kim Sri, Ravi. Ravi was late to class, I think so. I hope you noted down. So tomorrow, let's discuss about the question answers because it is just a big topic for you. Tomorrow, let's discuss about the question answers. Coming to the D life skills. Can we see life skills, children? There were a time in the past when the people of the world know that the earth was flat in shape. What if our planet was actually flat or not round? Think about any three things that you would have happened if the earth is not round. Children, this is an exemption question for you. Let's discuss it for about five minutes. Okay, the ancient people thought we, uh, that earth is flat because they don't know, no? So they thought the earth is flat. But actually our Portuguese explorer had proved that earth is round in shape. Okay, if we think, if we think, what happens if the earth is flat? You can text me children. What happens if the earth is flat? Just give, just give me hints what will happen. Let me know what about your thing. What happens if the earth is flat? Any three things. Three things are needed. That Actually I, I got in one, only one idea till now. Day and night won't happen, right? Because we have a revolution and rotation of the earth. So day and night won't happen, I think so. So that is uh, the one thing if the earth is flat. Yes, yes, Sai, but uh, just a minute. You can uh, 
you can now unmute your phone and tell sai whatever you like to say you can unmute it now ma'am please show the blanks and this one choose the correct answer you need to have a look at choose the correct answers one okay here are the choose the correct answers children ma'am i did not note it you didn't note it down yes ma'am Okay, just I'll keep it for a couple of minutes, children. Whoever didn't uh, wrote that, please make a note of it. I'll repeat it once again for you. Dash are extreme north and extreme south of the earth. Pole, pole. <laughs> children who are writing, don't write all these in the place of blank. You can write pole. Are extreme north and extreme south. No need to write all the options. Okay. No need to write all the options, children. Write in the form of a fill in the blanks, but don't write all these options A, B, C, and D. Just write a fill in the blank format. It is easy for you. Poles are extreme north and extreme south of the Earth. Maligan, the great sailor. Undertook the sea voyage to prove that the Earth is round. Maligan, the great sailor, undertook the sea voyage to prove that the Earth is round. Now, northwest is a subdirection. Northwest is a subdirection. A water body on a map. a water body on a map is represented by the color blue a water body on a map is represented by the color blue blue have you make a noted sign no ma'am last one ma'am okay okay nana write it neatly a water body on a map is represented by blue color ma'am or color ma blue ma'am tell me the answer ma'am third one northwest northwest is a sub direction northwest is a sub direction even though children i'll keep a pick of the notes as an important four points for you i made them for you after this completion of the class i'll keep it write down the class work okay i'll post the pics of a class work children please make a note and follow it yeah. itendra is it clear for you itendra i'm asking you is it clear is it everything okay with you you have joined late na Okay, children. See you in the next class. I'll post the class work for you.